Intoxicants are everywhere. Marijuana, cocaine, opium are illegal in most countries. But caffeine, sugar, alcohol, and tobacco are all legal everywhere. Just as addictive and just as harmful when abused. Everyone is addicted to something. There is nothing new about addiction. Early man ate whatever was around and discovered that some plants made him feel better. These he learned to cultivate and trade. Since the beginning of time, intoxicants have driven civilization, religion, and the global economy. Beer and wine were man's first prepared beverage. More prized than water then, and still are today. In ancient Egypt, wine was part of ceremonies and recorded history. The Chinese developed ephedra and many other plants for medicine. In the Americas, dozens of hallucinogens were used for shamanic ceremonies. Hallucinogens have been an important part of cultural and religious rituals for 9,000 years. In biblical times, wine and hemp were part of religious ceremonies. Hemp was burned as incense to receive revelations from the gods. Greece and Rome worshipped the gods of wine. Opium was a common additive to wine and may have fueled the Roman orgies. Spirits were used for medicine in the 15th century. By the 18th century, hard drinking and drunkenness were part of daily life in Europe. In 1635, laudanum, a mixture of alcohol and opium, was reintroduced in Europe as a medicine. Colonization spread the demand for hemp, tea, coffee, sugar, tobacco, opium, cocoa, and coca all over the globe. Slaves were transported to grow sugar and tobacco. Tea from the Far East becomes a necessity in Europe and the New World. The American Revolution began as a protest of tax on tea. The Opium Wars forced China to open its doors to foreign trade. In the 1880s, opium was synthesized as heroin and morphine, and first thought of as cure-alls. Patent medicines that contained opium, heroin, and marijuana were all banned in 1925. Cocaine was synthesized to add to soft drinks, creating a new craze for caffeine, cocaine, and sugar spiked drinks. At the turn of the 20th century, the temperance movement brought on prohibition and spawned organized crime. Amphetamines were used to keep soldiers awake during World War II. Smoking becomes an addiction for men and women. Soldiers returning from the Vietnam War brought heroin to the inner cities. In 1995, the FDA approved OxyContin and Oxycodone, forms of heroin, 70 years after it was initially banned. Mood enhancers are everywhere. Addiction happens. It's everyone's problem.